sinister noise in Rome, Italy. It's our first time here tonight. We had a great time, great show. Everyone was super nice. The show went well, it sounded great. And we're lucky to have been here tonight. And, uh, anything you guys want to add to that? No, man. Grazie, Roma. City. <laughs> okay. The most. Where? Uh oh. <laughs> So yeah, edit this round. So uh, our, our friends from uh, España, Spain, uh, Geraldo and Antonio, these twins from the band Los Chicos from Madrid, they set up our tour for us. Viva Los Chicos! Viva Los Chicos, si. Sí. And uh, so our friends set up this European tour for us. And Viva La Cuba Libre! We had some people from uh, Italy contact us and we were trying to fill up holes in the tour. And, we decided to spend a week in Italia, you know, so. This is the first day in, in Italy, it's like the second leg of the tour. Our third show. We should have played in the Coliseum, if you ask me. We the next time we'll play the Coliseum. We missed Bloodshot Bill here by like a day, which is a bummer, because we're going to run a bar and we're going to split together. And he played here like last night, so we just missed him. But, uh, we should have set up with the bass on each other. Time, but like I said, it's been maybe five years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It seems like just we, yesterday. And we only got serious maybe three, four years ago. We've been playing too long. We don't remember because we're just old friends. We've been playing in different bands for so long. We lived together years ago, so we don't remember when we started. There was no promise when we started this band. It was like. Music. 
in those bands, you know, I'm talking like we're teenagers, and then, you know, you just keep going further and further back, and then we re like, realize that we could take blues, that we, like, we start getting into the blues, and like, blues we love, and mix that concept with the energy of 70s punk, it might be something great. I mean, we just, it was like, it, it wasn't that thought out, but I, looking back on it, I guess that the concept, what yeah. you say? Yeah. The blues, the blues is a bad word. It's like people get scared when you say it, and you kind of have a hard time describing what we do sometimes. Some people ask me, you know, what do you guys call your style? And sometimes I don't know what what to say. They kind of just have to be there to see it and experience it themselves. Well, the second you say the blues, especially in America, people, and in, in Europe, it seems like people respect it more as an authentic um, style of, of music. Um, but in the States, it's become very sterile and very yeah, the like, you, They think of George Thurgood. Yeah. Sure. Like Which is, is, it was what exactly we're against is what we started. We said, we don't, if we're going to do this kind of thing, let's get as far away from it as possible. And I think we're kind of achieving that. It's taken some time to develop like our sound and our direction, but uh, we're getting there. We're, we're, I think we're doing something that's completely our own now. I mean, there's other blues slash punk outfits out there, um, but I think that we have our own stamp on it, our own identity. There, there's a bunch of hillbilly bands in the States, and there are a bunch of bearded, tattooed guys carrying washboards, and you know, like, we're not about that. Like, we have our own stamp on it, you know, we are based out of New York City, and we have our, the one thing I have to say about those bands is, yeah, they have a good knowledge of uh, American country and roots and blues music, but we're also influenced by, like, 70s punk rock bands, and none of those American bands are even familiar with that. They're not hip to the Dr. Feelgood, Flaming Groovies, and, like, we have a, a heavy influence of that stuff, so we're kind of like the American, we're kind of like an American version of a punk rock band that has a deeper influence uh, with American Delta Blues. That's what I would say. If we don't like it, we'll tell you some lies. <laughs> but it seems like people always want to ask us the same kind of stuff all the time. I'd rather so you ask us some really fucked up shit. We, we like hard-hitting questions. Everybody asks us the same stuff, like, when, when did you start? What are your influences? You know, where are you from? It's like, you know, we, we've, 
we've stated that in several different interviews. So I actually like when people ask more hard hitting so stuff. Ask, ask us Even really if it's off the subject, it doesn't have to be about our music or anything, you know, it could be something totally random, you know. <laughs> Brian's partially by Marat's. I'm, I'm trisexual, I'll try anything. Straight Turkish. Brian's partially by Marat's Turkish. <laughs> Half. <laughs> you know, we've all got our problems, dude. <laughs> Okay. What's next? Next. Nothing. That's it. Uh, no, next uh, is uh, to to give salutation to your fan to your fans. Is that good? Do you need anything else from us? Is that yeah, good? So okay. give some salutations to the fans. Uh, okay, I bye. Thank you. I wrote I, yeah, yeah. I wrote too too many questions. So if you can say yeah. give. Uh, uh, what can I say? Salutation to your fans. I will cut the part of okay. I talk. So, salute your friend. So we had a good first night in Italia, man. Great night. A lot of fun. The first of May. We're going to come back to Italy as much as possible. We love to play in Europe and we love Italian movies and food and wine. Being, being, uh, being ha a fucking half Italian New Yorker. Hey, man. Yeah, 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 you know. <laughs> fucking home country. Hey. hey. Yeah. Hey. Thanks All to everybody right. that came out and everybody that picked up the record and everybody that's been listening to us uh, on the airwaves and and uh and the fun fun cool. Grazie mille. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cheers.